I was tagged by Flying Squirrel Outdoors to do a five favorite pieces of gear video. And I started doing little bits and pieces of it on my current hike from Caledonia State Park to Tumbling Run shelters. And it started raining and it's kind of icky. But I'll touch on a couple of them here and then uh, probably do a breakout for each of the individual ones. One is this backpack, this white healthy backpack as you probably see in most of my videos. And the other is this GPS Garmin 20, E-Trex 20 that I carry almost everywhere uh, to track what I'm doing. And I've got a couple old school, old school. pieces of gear that I'll uh, talk about when I get back out of the rain. Let's take a look at my pack here. You will see in most of my videos I am carrying this Kelty White Cloud. This is a 1991 era uh, Spectra pack and it's very light. I'll put the weight down below. And it's got loops, lots and lots of loops, loaded loaded with loops. It's got a place for tools. It's got a couple couple places for tools. Both sides. It's got compression straps. Turn it around. What's interesting about this is the top's expandable. It's got a brain pocket. It's some little thing doodads to hold stuff. It's got load lifters. And it's got a uh, chest strap. It's got loops on there. Because it's old school, the old school. The belt has a little more to be desired, but it's not bad. And uh, it's padded well. You sweat a little bit in this. And uh, I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, you'll notice in my videos, almost every one. I will also have this hanging on my pack. It's got a holder. And then let's see inside this. Pop this open. It's got a uh, like a an extra strap inside to secure things. And it's a standard cinch top type uh, baggy kind of thing and that's about it it's one big duffel bag this is my GPS my e-trex 20 I bring it on almost every hike I go on on a pair of AA batteries I can track where I've been for about 24 hours and also I've uploaded to it uh, third-party topographic maps I got from GPS File Depot as well as the uh, data points for the entire Appalachian Trail, all the shelters, uh, relevant parking areas, and some other navigational aids. It's really, really helpful for me as I'm moving around uh, on my Appalachian Trail section hikes. And I take all the data that I collect from my hikes and I store them on my computer so I know where I've been and what pieces of the trail I've hiked on and how many times I've hiked on them as well as uh, what little sections I've missed as I piece the whole thing together. One day I'm going to have the whole trail filled in and I hope that happens sometime before I do a whole through hike but even then uh, I will have this along with me or something just like it. Uh, to track where I've been. So I love this piece of gear and you'll see it in every single one of my videos where I'm hiking you'll see this thing hanging off my pack. Looks like we got about 18-19 about degrees inside. Woo! Get that little guy going with the copper strip copper strip on the edge is going to siphon off some of the heat and bring it back down to the canister and heat it up to increase the pressure. Get my water all boiled up. A couple 
more pieces of gear I'd like to talk about. They are both Coleman Peak One products. One is my lantern that I got back in 1984. Uh, this thing is still going strong and I used it just last week when I was working out at night making the uh, that fire stove go. And the other thing that I have is to go along with it the Coleman Peak One stove. And this is heavy. This is uh, something I really don't hike with anymore, but up until not long ago, this was my absolute most favorite piece of gear. It runs on Coleman fuel. It uh, literally weighs about two pounds uh, when it's full of fuel, but it will simmer, it will cook, it will fry, it will melt lead in a coffee can, uh, which I've done many times to make fishing weights. It runs in cold temperatures, it runs in summer temperatures. This thing is the most reliable stove uh, I think I've ever had. It's going on strong since 1981 is when I got this stove. So let's take a quick peek at this. It's got a fuel lever, which also cleans the tube out. It's got off, it's got light, and it's got run. Uh, when it's in light mode, it sucks a lot of the fumes out of the top, so it makes it easier to light. I generally don't light it that way. I'll fire it up here in a sec just to see if it still works. I haven't used this thing, I think, in over a year. And uh, it's got a uh, lever to basically simmer and or clean, they say, and for lighting. It's got a pump, and I generally put like, I don't know, 15 or 20 pumps. As kids, we used to see how much we could pump them up, uh, pump it up a whole boatload. And I'm not going to count, but let's get some pressure in there. And of course, it's got its its hole for uh, filling it up cap. So let's see what we got. And I'll try not to burn burn my face off or burn the yard down or any of that fun stuff. So that's amazing. I haven't even changed the fuel in this in, in over a year. And uh, it just pops right up. You kind of see the, the yellow flames. It'll calm down once it heats up. Generally that's what we do is just uh, light her up, let her get hot, chuck a pot on there and boil away. Almost. Come on. There it goes. So there you have it, the Coleman Peak One, uh, the brown one. Put the numbers and weights down below. I'd like to thank Flying Squirrel Outdoors for tagging me to show my five favorite pieces of gear. It was really hard to pick which five were my favorite. I've got a lot of gear that I've collected uh, over the course of 30 years. And as you can see from a lot of my videos, uh, my White Cloud backpack, and my handheld GPS, and more recently for cold weather hiking, the copper strip I put on my uh, butane stove, and then kind of reaching back into the old school, old school. pile, uh, my lantern, and my uh, stove, my Peak One stuff. I really like this gear. If I had to share one more piece to go for six, which is cheating, uh, I've got this down hat from uh, Black Rock Gear. It's really, really awesome. And I think it's gonna move up on my list of pieces of gear you're gonna see all the time with me on the trail when it's cold outside. So with that, I think I have uh, my duty to pass this on to five others. And I tried not to pick channels uh, that although they're great channels they get tagged uh, over and over for a bunch of stuff 
Rhino Fishing TV. Uh, you don't hike, but you fish, and I like fishing. I think a lot of people want to see what your five favorite pieces of gear are. Hot Mountain. Uh, you guys uh, are a hoot to watch. A lot of camping, uh, a little bit of hiking, and certainly lots of cool gear. So let's uh, let's see what you got. Couch to Trail YouTube channel. Uh, I know you've been watching and you've been commenting. I want to see uh, your gear, five favorite pieces. Scott Taylor, uh, starting to watch a lot of your channel now, uh, as well as Maryland Outdoors. So let's have at it, five favorite pieces of gear. Tag, you're it. And all this old school gear, it's been taking care of me. And one thing that's absolutely true, if you take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. So take care of that old school gear.